life from the manual control bunker. Grab a bag of peanuts and a cold glass of prune juice. Pull up a stool and prepare yourself for de 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 Extra's Daily do 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 do's. A solid two hour long log of hot, steaming gameplay from my favorite employer. Man, 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 man is Dextra. This stream brought to you by my Amazon affiliate link, your one-stop shop for Battletech Legends novels on Kindle. And as always, even if you're not a reader and you should be, you can do any or all of these things to support the channel. Greetings, mercenaries, mech warriors, and the merely curious. Manus Dextra here with episode 7 of a new vanilla career with all the DLC sprinkles. And in this episode, we're going to heed the call of Hans Davian and help him get his new bride a little something special to celebrate their nuptials. So saddle up, buttercups. It's time to get Melissa Steiner some Capellan Donuts. All right. Hey to everybody in chat hope uh, life is treating you well on this Wednesday afternoon and uh, you can see we are strapped for cash and we're out of time guys because uh, the Legend of the Kestrel Lancers campaign is kicking off right now and this is probably the lightest the lightest company I've ever started this campaign with but uh but yeah, I do have this guy right here. I blew, I literally spent all of my C bills on this. <laughs> so I guess we'll see if that works out. We also got a king crab down here, still being refit. Yeah, as much as I don't like uh, mechs that carry firepower and uh, weapons in the arms, uh, this is what we got to work with. So, um,. I guess we'll have to try to keep these guys from getting disarmed. But uh, yeah, anyway, we're going to go ahead and depart. Or I guess read this wall of text and then depart. All right. Thank you for answering the call, Commander. I am Marshal Jackson Davian of the Crucis Lancers 2nd Battalion. You might know us better as the Kestrel Lancers. Colonel Sortek has informed me that you will be serving out your contract as an independent battle mech detachment under my command. We're glad to have you aboard. We'll, we need all the help we can get. I'll be honest with you, Commander. The Kestrel Lancers have seen better days. My predecessor, my predecessor was posted on the border with the Draconis Combine and suffered heavy losses at the hands of House Karita's raids during the Third Succession War. While on paper, we may still officially exist as a full battalion of the Crucis Lancers, the reality is that First Prince Davian is weighing our deactivation due to our current numbers. We've been aggressively recruiting to fix this, but I need experienced soldiers to build up a reliable core that I can count on to get the job done and train up our fresh talent. After seeing your performance up close during the Galahad War Games, I'm confident that your unit is exactly what the Kestrel Lancers need at the moment. Although you've been contracted to us as a mercenary, officially you'll be added to the Kestrel Lancers roster as a special ops battle mech company under my command. We want to pres preserve the appearance of strength to our enemies while our rebuilding is underway. 
Take your time to prepare your mechs and gear, then head to your nearest jump point. The AFFS will charter a command circuit to bring you to the Croesus Lancer's home base on Mira. Be prepared for anything, Commander. With Hans Davian's upcoming wedding to Melissa Steiner, the AFFS has been put on high alert. We will provide you with a full briefing once you get to Mira. All right. We'll set course. Husband, in honor of our marriage, I give you a regiment of battle mechs and the means to support them in perpetuity. My love, in honor of our marriage, I give you a vast prize. The Capellan Confederation. Lancers, we have been called to war. Operation Rat is a go. Our objective? To cripple the Confederation's military-industrial complex, to bloody their most fanatic battle mech regiments, and to take their territory for our own, thus securing our borders for our newfound alliance with House Steiner. To do this, all eight of the Crucis Lancer RCTs have been called upon to take one system, the most vital planet targeted by the Federated Suns, the fortress world of Tikhonov. Defended by numerous battle mech regiments, a vast network of man-made fortifications, and one of the most hardened planetary militias of the entire inner sphere. For over 600 years, Tikhonov has stood as an indomitable Bastille, repelling all who dare to challenge its gauntlet of defenses. But the planet itself is a prize like no other a fully self-sufficient world virtually untouched by the chaos of the succession wars. Heavily industrialized with an astronomical abundance of natural ore and mineral mining that fuels a booming planetary economy and acts as the foundation for Tikhonov's true props, battle neck factories. Responsible for the manufacturing of large portions of the Capellan Confederation's heavy battle mech forces and considered to be the lifeblood to the Seacalf's war machine. Taking Tikhonov and its mech factories from the Confederation will rob them of one of their military's most vital resources and add it to our own. But the defenders of Tikhonov are among the most fanatical supporters of the Capellan state, many of them lifelong residents of the region. Expect them to fight with unparalleled levels of ferocity to defend their homework. First Prince Hans Davian has personally charged the Crucis Lancers with this mission to break the unbreakable fortress world and claim its mech factories in the name of the Federated Sons. And as God is our witness, we will not misplace the faith that he has put into all of us. We will bend Tikhonov and any other Capellan world that stands in our way to our will. Good look over our battle mechs. Yeah, you know, it looks like so we do just have a single lance of assault mechs. So I guess it's really not too bad. We got uh the problem is um I've really got these first three set up to be commander's mechs, so yeah, we'll have to see how this works out. I think I think the Battlemaster will be fine in the hands of the AI or mine. Uh, I'm not so sure about the King Crab and the Highlander, but I guess we'll find out. And yeah, we got to go ahead and get to work here. All right. So the invasion of Tikhonov has begun. Over 300 dropships carrying all eight regiments of the Crucis Lancers. 300. Wow, that's a lot of dropships. It seems like it seems like too many, actually, but uh, I don't know. All right. Anyway, over 300 dropships carrying all eight regiments of the Crucis Lancers 
are continuing a high G burn towards the planet. Our flotilla's aerospace escort has just fought back the Knight Rider's deep space interdiction force, leaving only one more obstacle that we must clear before we can make planet fall. The Kestrel Lancers have been tasked with destroying a series of anti-dropship batteries located on Tikhonov's first moon, Doria. These batteries combined with the remaining Knight Rider aerospace fighters could do some serious damage to the Lancer's invasion force as they try to breach the planet's atmosphere, so it is imperative that we clear the way for our fellow Lancers. This war is just beginning, so remember your training, watch each other's backs, and do not overcommit your forces in this opening engagement. We will still need mechs at the ready for when we make planet fall. Let's show the rest of the Croesus Lancers what the new Kestrel Lancers can do. All right, let's do it. All right, second Croesus has been tasked with clearing a number of anti-dropship battery plan or planetary defense installations across Tikhonov's first moon. This is the opening shot in what could be a very long war, so pace yourselves and do not take any unnecessary risks. Our real fight will be on the planet's surface, so don't overcommit your best pilots and equipment yet. There may be greater need for them later. Yep, don't I know it. All right. At least we managed to... Uh, Max out our uh, negotiation points before we got here. It's the important thing. We ought to come out smelling like a rose at the end of this, provided we can finish. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I think we'll go ahead and take, we'll take an airstrike. I don't know how much good it will actually do us, but we got the extra points. All right. Go, go ahead and put our highest cap mech or uh, yeah that's not what I wanted put our highest cap mech warriors in there even if they're still a little bit a little low on experience hmm <sighs> alright I don't know I think I'm going to drop relatively heavy on this one just to see Did manage to get some interesting hero mechs, so I've got a uh, so I've got the hero catapult for fire support, and uh, those AMS units will definitely come in handy. And also, yeah, we already saw the Highlander. We'll we'll be putting that to good use here pretty soon. And oh yeah. Yeah, right after I finally uh, set up a regular fire starter, I found the uh, here I found a hero fire starter as well. So, yeah. So yeah, we have some decent mechs. I wish I wish I had a couple of atlases though. <laughs> anyway, all right. Where were we at? Oh yeah, we got. Uh, I think we'll go. Couple of hunchbacks. Yep, did a lot of butt kissing to old uh, old Prince uh, First Prince Hans to uh, get all those negotiation points. Hopefully, they will pay off if uh, if we can fulfill these contracts. We got a pretty good, got a pretty good Merc company, but uh, for do wish we had a couple of atlases. Warning. Hangar doors opening. Stand clear. Reactor online. 
Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Arm lock. For generations, Tikhonov has stood as one of the Confederation's economic and manufacturing centers. Because of this, House Liao has spent generations and considerable mm. resources turning Tikhonov into one of the most fortified systems in the inner sphere, which includes a network of anti-dropship orbital rays here on Tikhonov's first moon, Doria. Close map. The Kestrel Lancers have been tasked with destroying the arrays and clearing the way for the remaining Lancer regiments to make planetfall. Your strike forces assigned targets have been marked on your HUD. The remaining Kestrel Lancers will be executing similar strikes against targets of their own. Show the second what you are made of, Commander. Mech 1-1, one, one. this is Sierra 2-1. We are primed for assault. Standing by for your tango confirmation. Sierra 2-1, over. I'm trying to remember. I don't think Tekken off is actually all that hard. I don't think it's going to get real until, uh... Until the last two sections of this campaign. I think this is going to... I think... I, I remember this is not... Like I said, not being too hard. It's not, uh... And we really need to accumulate some C bills, and uh, like I said, I'd, I'd like to pick up another another Try atlas. Destroy these installations. Planetary defenses like these haven't been made in centuries. Taking and holding them would pull resources away from the invasion. The main objective here is to take Tikhonov itself. We can't risk giving the Confederation any more time to dig into their <laughs> positions on planet. Thinking like that is the reason humanity seen 300 years of technological regression. All because of these bloody succession wars. Watch your tone, Tech. We have a job to do. We can argue about historical preservation later. <laughs> Good old FOD. Always ready to throw a turd in the punch bowl. But yeah, I, I, we, we really need to have a few good drops here because we have no cash. And we're, we we really need another couple of hundred tons oh, of... Uh, the class of we're after. Take it out. Need another couple of hundred tons of assault mechs. <laughs> All right. You're coming up on one of the anti-dropship arrays now, Commander. Only tangle with the defenders Ugh. if you feel you need to. Yeah, Once I remember this. Silence, the militia will be stranded on this rock anyways. We have a long war ahead of us, so be sure not to take on any unnecessary risks. Anti-dropship batteries are active. Take them out. This is, uh, for the record, this is not how, this is not how a good, uh, a good drop starts out. Lance, I'm a tango. Shut target. Uh. Here we go. Kill confirmed. Target destroyed. That's one installation down. Good work. I'm showing all targets 
of this facility destroyed. Boom! Dead. Looks like everybody else is okay, but uh Damn it. Yeah, I'd be doing a lot better if I hadn't blundered into those. What was that? That was a... Uh, oh, yeah, it was a Centurion. Centurion and a Hunchback. suck if I lost that uh, lost that torso section looks like our allies started on this other installation so if we're lucky maybe they've taken out some of the defenders and stuff for us So my team go. I forgot about that airstrike. <laughs> Definitely not in a position to use it. So my tango. Can't target acquired. Lance on my tango. This is Lancer's command. Castro Lancer is reporting all installations destroyed. You are clear for approach. We read you, Marshal Davian. Return to your dropships and prepare your forces for planet fall. We'll see you on the ground. Acknowledged. All stations move to designated evac points on the double. We have an invasion to get to. Shit. Target 
Oh, son of a bitch, man. New target assassin. Target destroyed. Heat critical. Target acquired. Target destroyed. System offline. This could have gone better. We're still not done yet either. Looks like everybody else did okay. Tango smoked. Mm. God. We've got you, Commander. Mount up and prepare for a hard burn out of here. Yeah. Marshal Davion <laughs> wants his planet side with the rest of the Lancers ASAP. Damn it. I think I probably have replacement parts, but uh, yeah, we can't. Uh, I definitely cannot keep on getting clobbered like that. Uh, we're going to call that a warm up. <laughs> hmm. At least we get a fire starter out of it. Yep, that could have gone a lot better. Looks like everybody was really productive, though. If I just hadn't allowed myself to get shot to hell like I did, we'd have been all right. All right, a solid opening salvo. This war is just getting started. Doria was manned mostly by a planetary militia, and while they might have been some of the toughest militia in the inner sphere, they still don't hold a candle to hardened sea calf regiments that called Tikhonov their home. Always assume the next fight is going to be tougher than the last and that and that it will come sooner than you think, so be sure to pace yourself and your personnel out there. Our next operation is scheduled to commence in 15 days. If your mechs are in need of repair, be sure to get your tech started on them immediately, even if they won't be ready for the next deployment, getting their repairs in the queue might be the difference between life and death in the coming months of this campaign. Always remember, Operation Rat will not be a sprint, it's going to be a marathon, so never overcommit to a single battle if it means we'll lose the war. Yep. Yeah, and if I had not uh, blundered into those first couple of mechs like a bionic dumbass. Uh, we'd be in a much better, sh much better position than we are right now, but. Uh, Alright, let's see. Alright. Ugh. Yikes. That hurts. Alright, let's go ahead and take a closer look at this one. Oh, wow. I'm surprised it's only going to be uh, down for a month. I'm going to make sure we've got replacement parts for... Ugh. Boy, that hurts. Hmm. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that really hurts, guys. Hmm.
Yeah, we're going to miss... We're going to miss those heat sinks. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. We're definitely going to miss those heat sinks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't know guys i think you may be complimenting me a little bit uh, too soon yeah this is bad this is really bad right here i'm not gonna uh i'm not gonna mulligan but uh i'm probably gonna wish i had I'm I'm definitely gonna miss those heat sinks, that's for sure. Mm. We'll go ahead and move that to cold storage. Yeah, see the other bad thing too is we're still a lot of our heavy, a lot of our heavier mechs, man, they're still at least a month out before they're going to be done. This is, this, yeah, this may be really challenging, guys. All right. Yeah, I really, I really, really screwed up when I, when I uh, blundered into those first couple of mechs and let that side torso get wrecked. Mm. All right. Well... <laughs> I said I wanted a challenge. It's like I'm going to get one. All right. So, Kestrel Lancers, thanks to your valiant efforts on Doria, the entirety of the Crucis Lancers were able to make planet fall with minimal casualties. Well, uh, lucky for you guys. <laughs> Since making planet fall, we've learned that the Capellan Confederation Strategic Command Director Pavel Ridzik is presently on Tikhonov leading the Capellan defenders. This bodes incredibly well for our war efforts as capturing or eliminating Ridzik could end this war before it even starts. Yeah, I don't think so. But we can't get ahead of ourselves. The Croesus Lancer's next objective is to take control of a major of major population centers and most importantly secure Tikhonov's numerous spaceports on the planet. The 6th and 8th Crucis will be assigned to take the capital of Tikhograd and the 7th is dropping to secure the primary Earthworks limited battle mech factories while the remaining Crucis Lancers will fan out and take other major population centers around the planet. The Kestrel Lancers have been assigned to take the mining town of Gizega, Giz, Gizega, I guess that's how you say that. Man, these, uh, man, they're killing me with these names here. All right. So located in the high Kazan mountain range, although it is a small township compared to the other major population centers, it is important that it is, it is an important one as it remains close to a major mineral mining operations and has an active spaceport located nearby that is used to ship refined material off planet. No spaceport is too minor when it comes to planetary conquest, so despite its size, it is still heavily defended. Mio Intelligence estimates that the entirety of the Ariana Grenadiers has been set to garrison Gedziga and its surrounding area. The Crucis Lancer's aerospace wing plans on bombarding the Grenadiers while they are in the open, which will force them to pull back into the city itself. The Kestrel Lancers will then move on Gedziga and clear out whatever Grenadier forces remain until the aerospace jocks are done with them. Our assault will commence in two weeks. Prepare your forces appropriately. Uh, yeah. Okay. Our air wing reports heavy losses on the Ariana Grenadiers. They estimate around 
They estimate around a company's worth of survivors have fled into our objective, the city of Gaziga. We are tasked with clearing them out and taking control of the city. Elements of the planetary militia are supporting the Grenadiers and system. But we anticipate that they will surrender if we eliminate the Grenadiers. Uh, yep. So if I, yeah, I think I remember this one too. I think we can, hopefully we can draw the targets out to us. Take them out a few at a time. Or I guess we could just run into them again, like, uh, like I did last time. All right. Yeah, we will definitely. So I think turnaround time is going to be okay on the rest of these, which is good. All right. So what am I going to drop in? I think I'm going to drop. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that Kentaro and... Man, I wish some of these other heavier mechs were uh were ready. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna throw the stalker in there. Yep. I don't know. That's that's probably about the best we can field right now. Yeah, Armored Core, I like your attitude, man. I mean, yeah, if you got to uh, if you got to uh, die on the job, I guess uh, <laughs> I guess there are worse ways to go than driving a mech. Mm. All right. Yep, they're going to give us the 15. We're definitely going to take them. Regiments have been assigned to tech Unlock. cities adjacent to regional spaceports to secure our foothold within the system. While Chill the 6th and 8th Crucis RCT Chill makes map. advance on the capital city of Tikagrad. We have been assigned to take and hold the mining city of Gizhiga and its small spaceport high in the Kazan mountain range. Our fighters report that they have inflicted heavy casualties against the Ariana Grenadiers defending the region, pushing them back into the city itself. Their remaining Op 4 and some planetary militia have held themselves up in the city and have refused to surrender Close to map. our forces. So we've been ordered to move mm. against them and clear them out. Taking out all Grenadier forces should force the Tikhanov militia to surrender. So Grenadier IFFs will be highlighted as primary targets on your HUD. Our best estimate is that there is roughly a company's worth of active Grenadiers in the city that we will need to clear out. So let's get to work, Lancers. Mm. Enemies in the air. New target. Tango spotted. And it's a beauty. Well, that's on my tango. Focus fire on commander's target. Destroy. Enemy destroyed. Well, that's on my tango. Shed target engaged. As much as possible, we're going to try to string these guys out. Against the Ori. 
Ares Conventions to attack seas housing civilian populations. The Ares Conventions were renounced at the beginning of the First Succession War. And even well, if they were still the Grenadiers taking refuge in the city would still constitute a military target under the conventions. I don't like it any more than you do. Urban combat is dirty work. But in this case, the Grenadiers are forcing our hand. If we crush their main body, the hope is that their remaining forces should capitulate to us. But the Grenadiers are fanatical supporters of the Capellan State, so it's anyone's guess as to what they will do. Let's hope their compassion for their people exceeds their desire to draw out this engagement any longer. <laughs> Commander, it looks like that mech had some valuables on it. Go over and pick it up. Let's see if there's anything we can use. Way ahead of you. Target acquired. Target acquired. Transform on me. We're on your six, Commander. Yeah, we're gonna try to pull all these guys out if possible. Mm -mm. New target, Panther. Where that guy came from. Yeah, I think last time I did this, I was in a, uh, I'm pretty sure I was in the Hero Archer. <laughs> which is quite a bit better, which is a, a much better mech than this. But, uh, you know. We've made contact with the Grenadiers. They are using the inner city as cover. All Lancer forces advance into the city and flush them out. Lance, on my tango. Yeah. A fire starter over there. Lance, on my tango. Target. Hmm. Target acquired. Lance, on my tango. Shed target. Here we go. Grenadier forces are showing losses. Let's keep the momentum up. Mm-hmm. Just gonna get that. Where's that other? Did they get that panther? My panther's still lurking around out there. We need to Lance on my tango. All guns on shared target. Lance on my tango. Engaging shared target ID. I've 
showing half of all primary targets have been destroyed. Keep it up. Well, yeah, it's form on me. Yeah. We're heading that way, sir. Yeah, I can't remember what those, what that last lance is. They're going to be quite a bit heavier, but uh, yeah, if we could string them out and make them come to us. That is what we're going to try to do. Phoenix Hawk. Well, that's on my tango. Target acquired. Confirmed, Commander. Moving on target. Well, that's on my tango. We're on it, Commander. Target acquired. Lance on my tango. Copy, Commander. Lance targets confirmed. Target destroyed. All right. Three more. Can we do it? Can't remember what. Yeah. New target, Vindicator. Lance on my tango. Mm. Sorry, can't attack that. Lance for Lance on my tango. Come here, buddy. Take this guy out before we uh We haven't been authorized for airstrikes on this mission. Credit to your forces. You have fought bravely for your cause, but the battle is lost. Surrender and no further harm will Man, come to you me. or Gizhiga. Why? Do you take us for fools? You <laughs> Very well. Have it your way. Castro Lancers, finish the fight. Think we already did. Ariana Grenadier forces have been neutralized. Commander, secure your position and prepare to receive relief forces. With any luck, the other seven Lancer regiments meet with similar success. Hell yeah. Be nice if we could uh, stumble over a few double heat sinks. <sighs> All right. Well, that could have been a whole lot worse, guys. Kind of like that first drop was. Hmm. Oh yeah, we need need that for a uh, cantina mission. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, unfortunately. No double heat sinks down there, but. Uh, looks like everybody's doing okay. The stalker and. Uh, I knew the hunchbacks. Be, I knew the hunchbacks would be okay. I like that stalker. That stalker is working out pretty well. It's not. That wouldn't be my first choice as a variant, but stalker is good fire support. So. <clears throat> yeah, double heat sinks are definitely. Uh, 
definitely precious commodities early in the game because yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna miss those man that uh hmm. let's go ahead and get that in cold storage yeah i don't i'm not sure that uh well the grasshopper will be viable but um but yeah i mean it, it was already it already had heat problems as you can see on that first drop when you get uh when you get to brawling in the thing it definitely starts accumulating heat really fast so yeah d i definitely won't be double firing those ppcx's until uh until we get more double heat sinks I think I might, I, I, I know I've got a few in some of these other mechs I could probably take out. I think, yeah, I got double heat sinks here, but uh, yeah, I need these. You know what, as a matter of fact, let's go ahead. Get all these guys repaired while we're yakking. All right. Hmm. So we will have some heavier mechs. At least the Highlander will be on will be online in a couple of weeks. We are we are develop we are we're accumulating some C bills pretty quickly. So we'll see if there's anything. Mm. Might have to pick up that archer. That's not that's not quite as good as the uh, Agincourt, but. Uh, that Archer 2S with the four missile pods. That's a that's a pretty good variant. It's not quite as good as not as good as the hero the the hero variant, but uh We might have to take that. I think I'm going to hold off for now. But yeah, before before we leave Tekken off, I think we're probably going to take that with us. Let's see what we got here. I'm sitting here crying about not having uh, any more double heat sinks. We might we might accidentally have some in. Uh, in the equipment market but uh nope well all right i've got all the work orders turned in might as well do the next mission all right so last night we received word that pavel ridzik had abandoned tikhanov the sixth seventh and eighth creases attempted to capture him but bad weather prevented the aerospace wings from being able to pursue Ridzik's dropship as he fled the system. Across Tikhanov, coordinated resistance to our invasion is beginning to break apart. Remaining CCAF units are fleeing into the wilderness, unable to get to their dropships now that we have firm control over all of Tikhanov's spaceports. <clears throat> The capital of Tikagrad is in talks with the AFFS commanding uh, command to negotiate terms of surrender for the city and many of the major civilian population centers on Tikhanov. We are hoping that they will help us broker a surrender from the remaining CCAF forces now trapped on Tikhanov. But until that time, the trapped CCAF forces remain a threat. While our Blitzkrieg worked at disrupting their defenses and taking firm control over the system's spaceports, it also allowed for large numbers of Confederation forces to withdraw into the wilderness where well, they will undoubtedly regroup in mass. Thanks to the efforts of the Seventh Crucis and their liberation of the head Earthworks Limited facilities on Tikagrad, we were able to identify a hidden Earthworks mech production facility deep in the Kazan mountain range, less than 600 clicks south of our current position. 
Our liaison with the Ministry of Information, Intelligence, and Operations believes that this will be where the CCAF guerrillas will make an attempt to regroup their forces. As the closest unit stationed near this hidden facility, Command wants the Kestrel Lancers to move against this installation and capture it before the CCAF are allowed to fortify their position and resupply. Taking this facility should cut the legs out from the remaining Confederation forces in system, so be sure to bring the biggest mechs you can muster in time for this fight. We'll be moving against the facility shortly. Finish the fight strong, Lancers. Ah, big mechs, you say. Well... Yeah, I was going to say, this isn't actually a very high tonnage uh, drop. Okay, CCAF forces are regrouping at the Hidden Earthworks Limited Production Facility in the Kazan Mountain Range. Command has charged Kestrel Lancers with capturing the facility and clearing out hostile Lao forces in the area. Be sure to use your time to prep the biggest, toughest mechs you can field by our operation date. The CCAF forces will be threatened, will, will be treating this as their final stand. All right. So actually, I think I'm going to go in the fire starter. Hopefully, I am not going to regret that. I think. Hmm. Pretty sure most of the, um, if I remember this drop correctly, this is going to be mostly all CQB. Put the two grasshoppers in there. That leaves us with, what, about 80 tons? Hmm. I might. Yeah, I don't think the stalker is going to be very, uh, very much use in there. I think. Yeah, we might take, take one last look. I think we're probably going to go with that catapults. Yep. I think this will be pretty... Yeah, because if this is the one I'm remembering, this is all going to be uh, tight quarters, and we do need one mech that's equipped with jump jets. Or you don't have to have one, but I, th I think it'll make it a little bit easier. But So we're going to go ahead and drop like this. All right. Arm lock. The capital of Tikograd has surrendered. Strategic Director Pavel Ridzik has fled the system, and the primary earthworks manufacturing facilities in Tikograd have fallen under our control. Show map. But the fight is not over. Show map. Davian intelligence has tracked the remaining Liao defenders to a hidden earthworks mech assembly plant and storage close facility map. close to our forward operating base. All right. Our mission is to finish the fight. Eliminate all Liao defenders and secure the earthworks production site. Kestrel Lancers, advance. Commander, the entire second crucis is on deck for this mission. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Support our allies and clear the field. 
there is no telling what we'll encounter once we reach the targeted facility. Target acquired. Man, yeah, so much ain't go. We'll get him. Threat eliminated. All right. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Man, yeah, so much ain't go. Engaging shared target ID. Target acquired. Wrecked. Target destroyed. Destroyed. Uh oh. Destroyed. That's what I'm talking about. I don't even have to tell them. Lance, form on me. Positioning on you, Commander. All right. <clears throat> Marshal Davian, we have made contact with Liao defenders screening the base. We're engaging now. We've made it to the outer perimeter, encountering large amounts of <clears throat> static defenses. <clears throat> I've identified the turret's control center, marking it on the HUD now. If there is anyone yeah. with jump capabilities, we may be able to silence those turrets all at once. Lance, let my chain go. Hostile mix spotted. Engaging Lance focus. Target. Boom! Enemy mech eliminated. Hmm. So I don't know. Target acquired. New target, Orion. Man, so much ain't go. Shed pockets engaged. Initiating each other. Hell yeah. Target acquired. New target grasshopper. Man, so much ain't go. Lance attack confirmed. Target acquired. Jump jet fuel low. Marshal Davian, we have neutralized the turrets. Your forces are free to approach. <laughs> So much tango. <laughs> Damn, that worked out okay. We got lots of uh we got lots of help with us too. Enemy mech crossing. Shit. I'm going to stop by. Uh, we have breached the facility's perimeter. IFF readings indicate additional hostiles both inside and outside the facility. Damn. Commander Mason, you will secure the interior. Do your best to preserve as much of the facility as possible. A working mech production facility is much too valuable to destroy. All remaining Lancers, fan out and secure the exterior of this facility. Make sure no Liao forces escape. Got a little bit more shot up than I planned to, but uh, it's actually not too bad. Make sure we don't lose anybody here. Lance, form on me. File formation behind the commander. Who the hell that is? Oh. 
I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I got a little more shot up than I wanted to, but... Uh, Maybe we can deal with it. Blimey, those are cataphracts. One of the first new battle mechs designs in centuries. Yeah. Yes, between the Raven and the cataphract, House Liao has been the only great house other than House Steiner to produce brand new mech designs since the start of the Succession Wars. Even with it being mostly cobbled together by recycling components from other mechs, it's still an impressive battle mech, which is why it is imperative that we minimize the damage to this facility. Hmm. New target, Spider. Lance, well, yeah, on my tango. Copy, Commander. Lance target confirmed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Ah, man. Target destroyed. <laughs> Little spider tried to do a DFA on me. Talk about no respect. Hmm. Yeah, I think we got to go up that ramp. Yeah. New target trebuchet. Yeah, Lance, on my tango. Shed target. Here we go. I can get up there and roast his onions. Come here, little buddy. Got something for you. It's called superheated plasma. Target Hope you like it. Hmm. that reactor was about to breach. Lance, form on me. Flooding in behind you, Commander. <sighs> All right. Now... <clears throat> Lance, form on me. Man, that. Smiling on you, Commander. I don't know, man. I think uh, I think pathfinding. I'm gonna wait for that guy to catch up with. It. I think pathfinding has gotten worse since the last patch. Yep, always watch the mini-map, kids. Make sure your uh, lance mates aren't getting lost. All right, looks like that guy's gonna catch up. All right. Jackson Davian of the Second Cruces Lancers. In the name of First Prince Hans Davian and the Federated Sons, we are here ah. to commandeer this facility. Stand down and surrender, and no further harm will come to you or your people. I am afraid both you and I know that it is not possible, Marshal. If you will not withdraw, then it is my duty to make sure that this facility becomes your tomb. Commander, Clear out the remaining enemy forces as fast as you can. They will most likely attempt to sabotage the facility rather than see it fall into our hands. Oh, that's on my chain, go. Our mission is to capture this complex <laughs> in functional condition. Check your fire in these tight quarters and eliminate any enemies you encounter ASAP. 
yeah yeah I think that was your guys that just uh, took out the ceiling but whatever jack off I mean Jackson <sighs> all right I think we got some repair bays if I remember right we got some repair bays down here which will be nice Oh. Ah. Kill that walker. Hm. We're still doing okay. Enemy destroyed. Gah. Right. Uh, well, I thought there were repair bays up here. I hope we're getting close to them. Yeah, I think they're in this next section here. Hell yeah. That's what we need right there. Get everybody freshened up here. System offline. Let's see if we can get rest of these guys repaired System offline it's like the other grasshopper yeah the other grasshopper needs a little bit too doesn't it Yeah, this almost feels like cheating. I think we really well, I think we could have probably done this without I think we got I think we got like one I think we've only got like one one big battle to get through here. We probably could have done this without uh repairing, but Here's me being a dumbass about to get shot to hell again. <laughs> Target destroyed. Target acquired. Yeah, yeah. go down here and get this guy. I usually leave one of those repair bays. I should have. Yeah, I should have saved. Should have saved one of those repair bays, but I didn't. Sadly, my kill is about to go critical. <laughs> yeah, well.
Yeah, so pro tip, kids. Uh, I actually, I, I should have saved one of those repair bays. It looks like I think everybody's going to be just fine, but uh, yeah, I wasted that last wasted that last repair bay. I should have should have saved it in case somebody had gotten shot up really bad during that last engagement. Looks like we're all going to survive regardless. I'm reading multiple mech reactor activations in your vicinity, Commander. Watch yourself. I think we've got a couple of cataphracts. And a hunchback or two down here. New target, cataphract. Yep. Man, so much tango. Contact enemy mech. Threat removed. Yeah, you know what? Ooh. Sons, I accept your surrender. All Cruces Lancer forces stand down. Mission accomplished. Tikhonov is ours. Man. Yeah, I got impatient there at the end and almost almost screwed that up pretty bad. <laughs> Because I thought what I was, what I wanted to do is get in there. I wanted to get in there. Behind those uh, allied mechs and try to do some backstabbing. But uh, yeah, it didn't quite work out that way. All right. <laughs> Down here and. Yeah, no double heat sinks, unfortunately. Hmm. I'd like to have that Orion, but uh, I guess we'll have to settle for the Vindicator. Take that active probe. Yep, I think everything. I think everybody did all right, but yeah, I, uh, <laughs> man, yeah, I, I just about, wow, I didn't, yeah, I didn't notice my front armor on the on the uh, center core is pretty, pretty thin. Yeah, I could have got cored out there at the end, and uh, that would have been no bueno. All right, anyway, let's see what we got here. A mission accomplished. Lancers taken off is officially ours. The Croesus Lancer Command has accepted the surrender of Tikagrad and the major population centers around the planet. While pockets of resistance still exist, they currently do not possess the numbers or the coordination to be considered a major threat. <clears throat> The 8th Crucis will be indefinitely posted on assignment here to administer the transfer of power to the Federated Suns. From there, they will be tasked with tracking down the remaining resistance fighters and securing a permanent hold on the entire Tikhonov system. 
As for the rest of the Crucis Lancers, all mech warriors and combat personnel have been granted a month's worth of leave for R&R. All command and technician personnel will remain focused on repairs and refitting our equipment for the next assignment. In a month's time, the Crucis Lancers will be breaking apart into individual regiment regiments for the next phase of Operation Rat. Commander, while the enlisted personnel are on leave, I'll need you to prepare your company for our next target. Be sure to use this month to retool any battlefield salvage, upgrade weapons, and prep your forces in anticipation of our next fight. With the Croesus Lancers dividing up into to evade to invade multiple targets, prepare your forces to shoulder heavier direct combat operations. But don't neglect speed and utility, as we'll need to remain flexible and may have need for high mobility operations depending on what's thrown at us. One final item, the liberation of the Earthworks mech factories in Tikagrad and Kazan have yielded a large surplus of near complete mechs. Our techs were able to complete, to complete the construction of a number of cataphracts that were on the verge of being operational when we conquered the facilities. These mechs will be distributed to all Croesus Lancer battalions to replenish our forces lost in this campaign. Commander, your unit will be gifted a fresh cataphract. Oh, you shouldn't have. <sighs> As combat bonus for the liberation of the Kazan facility. You are free to use it as you see fit. So, a paperweight, then. Once we ship out, we'll brief the battalion on the, our next objective. For now, get some rest while you can. Be sure to collect any company provisions from the market while we're still together and take this opportunity to perform any repairs and refits on your mechs and equipment before we deploy to our next assignment. All right. Yeah. Got some okay guns, and yeah, I am not a fan of the cataphract. So, we're going to send that to cold storage. Hmm. I don't know, we might leave this cataphract out just because. Yeah, of course it didn't come with a double heat sink there. All right, so I think what we're going to do. Yeah, we can't really afford to turn our nose up at this, even though I don't really like this mech very much. So I think we'll go ahead and. It is a 70 ton mech. Do something with it. Well, Splazin, it's, I wouldn't say it's quite 70 tons of useless, but it's, it's 70 tons of near, nearly useless for sure. But yeah, right now, like I said, we can't really afford to turn my nose up at uh, any tonnage. So I think we'll try to put a, put that, maybe put that AC5 in there or, uh, You know what? Let's try that. Let's put that medium rifle in there. I don't have anything else to use use that for right now. Should be more than enough ammo for that thing. Hmm. So I wonder, can we do, 
Let's see what we got down here. Let's put four medium lasers in there. Medium rifle, four medium lasers. This might be all right. Till we get something better to come along. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not happy about it, but uh yeah, we gotta make do. You gotta play the hand you're dealt. Yep, I think we're just gonna uh that should be enough. Uh oh, wait a minute. I thought I thought I had Slightly better uh, lasers to put in there. Yeah, like I say, though, I think we're going to put uh, cooling in the rest of this. And leave it at that. might not be too bad we got we're gonna have a lot of cooling if we could keep uh well if we can keep those medium lasers attached and cycling this might be an okay this might be okay fire support mech we probably could let's see what else we have we put in here we might try I don't know if I had if I had a high tier AC5 burst fire, I might put that in there instead. I think we could probably get away with that too. Yeah, it's a lot. It doesn't have near the near the heat issues that medium rifle does. But yeah, I think we're gonna try. We're gonna try it like this. I think it ought to be able to run everything. Just fine. Go ahead and get some uh Upgrades going. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to save that last slot. I don't want to go overboard on uh, upgrades on this thing, especially when uh might not be using it long term. Yeah, it looks like everybody else came through pretty good shape. Hmm. Now, let's go ahead and take a look. So, do we buy the archer? So, if I'm going to buy this archer, I would definitely be setting this up as a commander's mech. Thing about it is, I got some commander's mechs I can use. Even 
So even with the uh, crippled grasshopper P, I've still got I've still got some pretty good commanders mix. We need a good a good solid fire support mech. <sighs> and I unfortunately I think we're gonna have to settle for the Thunderbolt I mean it's not a bad mech we definitely well, well, let's see okay so before we do that yeah we need that because we don't have any tonnage yeah I think we can make that Thunderbolt into a pretty decent AI mech Yeah, M. Meehan, uh, the only thing I can really tell you about, uh, let's see, uh, yeah, it's not going to let me pull up, um, since I'm in uh, campaign mode, it's not going to let me pull up the star map. I would say, uh, look, look at some industrial hubs that are close to high level uh, conflict zones. That's probably going to be your best bet for finding an atlas. And uh, yeah, that that and about 10 million sea bills. But yeah, you, you definitely want to look for in, look in uh, industrial hub mech markets that are close to higher level conflict zones. But yeah, you can find them. Other than that, it's just kind of going to be random if you're going to get it in a mech market. And uh, if you're going to salvage one on the battlefield. Well, that's just going to take lots of luck and salvage points. All right. So, damn. Yeah, I really want that archer, but I think we need this thunderbolt more. So I think we're going to take it instead. Yeah, and despite the fact that we're engaged in an active invasion against <laughs> against House Lau, we're still on reasonably good terms with them, so that's nice. <laughs> All right. There's that Thunderbolt. Let's get this Thunderbolt refitted and uh, get back to work. Now nope, let's go ahead and strip this thing. Max the armor. <clears throat> so an LRM-10 is the biggest long-range missile so I could I'd like to set this up for longer range, but I don't. Let's see what happens if we do. So we can't put an LRM 10 in there. It's like I got the best. It's like I got the best LRM tens in the system. So put that in there. Hmm. 
Hmm. I really need it, but I'll go ahead and put a half ton of ammo in there just to balance out our tonnages a little bit. All right. So. This is probably too hot. Let's we'll see what it looks like when we get it full of heat sinks. That's kind of disappointing. I don't, uh, uh <clears throat> 2.1. That's, that's, I mean, that's borderline. Let's see what else. Let's see if we got any long range weapons with, uh, Smaller heat load. We might, yeah, we might put that in there. That's six, seven, five, and yeah, let's try that. Yeah, we didn't actually sacrifice too much firepower. We'll sitting there thinking about that that's probably gonna i'll probably start crying like a little girl the first time that gets uh that arm gets shot off i don't know what else to do with that that gun though i probably wouldn't put it in on, on another mech so we might as well use it all right Forty-two days for the Thunderbolts. Where's that? Got a little bit of money for upgrades. We'll go ahead and do Actually, Thunderbolts are not. Let me make sure. Yeah, we don't have anything else we can buy here. Yeah, I, you know, I like Thunderbolts better as. Uh, I like them better as AI mechs, but they're not bad mechs. I mean, in a pinch, yeah, I'd. Uh, I'd pilot a Thunderbolt like that one right there. I'd probably put. Uh, I'd probably put an SRM6 in there instead of LRMs, though. But. Uh, yeah, Thunderbolt's not bad. 
I think that's about all we can do at this point, though. Oh. So we can take some cantina missions before we get out of here. Yeah, that one looks... bit easier to do. Wow. Man, I can't believe we've already eaten up that much time today. We got uh, we got time to sneak in a few more drops, though, before quitting time. So, well, if we can get through all these walls of text. All right, so mission accomplished, Lancers. Tikhanov is officially ours. Croesus Lancer Command has accepted the surrender of Tikhograd and the major population centers around the planet. While pockets of resistance still exist, they do not possess the numbers or the coordination to be considered a major threat. All right, we've already read all this, so yes, yeah, so I'll just read. I'll go ahead and uh, read the last paragraph just to refresh everybody's memory. But once we ship out, we will brief the battalion on our next objective. For now, get some rest while you can, yada, yada, yada. Set course. Wave three of Operation Rat has begun. From here, the Crucis Lancers will divide and conquer a number of systems, securing our grip of the Tikhanov commonality. The second and third Crucis Lancers' next assignment is to take the world of Tigris. Boasting one of the highest standards of living and well-educated populaces in all of the Capellan Confederation, Tigris has acted as a cultural center and brain trust of the Capellan state for centuries. Bringing Tigris to heel will consolidate the Federated Sun's might throughout the Terran Corridor and further secure our hold of vital jump ship routes into the Lyran Commonwealth. Its conquest will also rob House Liao of a major population center containing some of the Capellan State's brightest minds and wealthiest families, hampering the Confederation for generations. Given the system's wealth and nobility, House Liao has stationed significant defenses on Tigris. With only 2nd and 3rd battalions assigned to this invasion, we should expect to encounter stiff resistance to our occupation as we will not be able to rely on the same amount of support that we received on Tikhanov. But always remember, the Lancers have already done what not even the Star League could do. We took the unconquerable world of Tikhanov. Compared to that, there is nothing that Tigris can throw at us that we haven't already faced before. yeah so now some of our uh some of those uh ooh, a phoenix hawk <laughs> yeah maybe we'll pass on that it's like some of our uh yeah most of our mechs are online we're still waiting on the battle master and yeah, Battlemaster and the T-Bolt will be ready within the month. We're not doing it too bad. Yeah, we've been, we've got almost an extra lance here, so yeah. I mean, it would be nicer. I'd, I'd, I'd like this a lot better if I had, like I said, at least a, a couple of atlases for backup. But, uh, yeah, I think maybe, I think maybe we can uh, deal with this, provided we give these uh, mechs cool paint jobs. I don't know why no one uh, reminded me of that before. Let's see. Cataphract needs a paint job too, doesn't it? Yeah, that paint job is a lot more worthy than the mech is, but uh... all right. Kestrel Lancers, we're about to make planet fall on Tigris. Aerospace sweeps. Of our targeted LZ show no opposing forces waiting for us. From what the reconnaissance has shown, 
Mech and vehicle forces are currently stationed just outside the largest population centers. It appears that the Capellan defenders will allow us to land on Tigris uncontested. We believe they are holding these defensive positions anticipating a blitzkrieg similar to our attack on Tikhonov. But that will not be our strategy this time, unlike Tikhonov that had major population centers scattered across the planet, Tigris's primary center of power rests in a concentrated cluster of multiple cities and townships called CG Chin Shi, the four cities. And from now on, that's what I'm going to call it because <laughs> uh, because my Chinese pronunciation is terrible. All right, to control Tigris, we only need to neutralize the four cities to bring it under our control. To do this, the Kestrel Lancers will be dropping 40 clicks north of the city behind a small but dense forest named Yolor's Grove. Our sister unit, the third Croesus Lancers, will be landing east of the four cities at the base of the Granite Fields Mountains. Both battalions will regroup at our planned forward operating bases and then move to initiate a coordinated pincer strike against the four cities. Before we can move against the four cities, both regiments of Croesus Lancers must secure forward operating bases to prepare for our eventual pincer attack. Our FOB will be located within Eulor's Grove. Once planet side, you are to advance along to the nav point. Advance along the nav point route until you reach our planned location for the forward operating base and clear out any potential hostiles that may be occupying the, its location. Provide Provided the, Kel the Capellan defenders maintain their defensive positions, we should be able to secure our forward operating base with only marginal enemy resistance expected. Good luck, everyone. All right. So our objective is to secure a site for our forward operating base while the planet's defenders are hanging back to defend Tigris's primary population center. Advance along nav point route to the FOB site and clear out any enemies that may that may be scouting our forces. Eulor's Grove is very dense. So if you do engage enemy forces, expect close quarters combat. Yep. Just the kind we like. All right. Only fifteen tons down. You know what? Though I think Yeah, so Thunderbolt is not ready yet. I'll take that. Yep, I think we're gonna drop it like this. Yeah, we might have to snag that battle master on the way out of town, but uh, yeah, I think that's enough messing around. We'll go ahead and yeah, we'll go ahead and drop it like this. The fulcrum of power on Tigris is a heavy concentration of the system's population, Armlock. clustered around a number of townships and cities known locally as Suga Changshi, the Four Cities. We've made Planetfall 40 clicks north of our main objective, shielded by a small but dense forest known as Yorlor's Grove. 
while the third has made planet fall in the granite field mountains to the east of our objective. We are each set to advance on the city from both directions and attempt a pincer attack to claim the four cities. Tread carefully. While Tigris is not the fortress world that Tikhonov was, we will not have the luxury of having the full might of all eight Lancer regiments on our side. For this campaign, it's just us and the third. So watch each other's backs and don't do anything reckless. Don't do anything reckless? Now you tell me. Yeah, I think if I remember this, I, th I think we'll have some... I think we're going to have a mix of assault mix and uh do we have any intel on our op four meo intelligence reports warrior house hiritsu and Kur intruders have been stationed on tigris for years with direct support from laurel's mm -hmm. legion a mercenary battalion with direct ties to the ruling family of tigris Beyond that, we have no intel on if those units are stationed here at full strength or only have a handful of battalions stationed here on garrison duty. So our best estimates range from one to three regiments worth of hostiles in system. That's quite a range, sir. <laughs> All the more reason to tread carefully, mech warrior. Continue to follow the marked nav point route to our planned encampment site. Once we've set up a foothold within the system, we'll send out recon squads to see what is what. I think we get a bunch of uh, chargers and ravens on this drop. If I remember, this is the one I'm thinking about. Marshal Davian, I'm getting some heavy sensor disruption. Could yeah. be the Liao scouting our formations. <clears throat> that would be the ravens. Yeah. Weapons free. Well, yeah, so much ain't go. Yikes. Holy crap. Looks like those ravens weren't scouting our forces, but screening the intruders' numbers. Why am I reading Davian serial codes on these hostiles? lost much of their Yikes. domestic assault mech production back in the second succession war. Kerr's intruders makes up for that by fielding large amounts of Davian salvage. Just focus on their IFF signatures. Wild. Easier said than done. Pull the sensor jamming. Destroy. New target blackjack. Lance, I'm a tango. Yeah. Target destroyed. Yikes. Sorry, Commander. I can't target that. Yeah, again, I got a little little more beat up than I wanted to. I didn't mean to didn't mean to face tank all those uh all those ravens like I did, but <laughs> oh well. <laughs> so it's what happens when you're uh not a great pilot? Yeah, oh well. My sensors are all over the place. We can't shoot straight with all this interference. Someone take those ravens out. New oh, shit. Charger. Yeah. Crossing. What the hell? A charger just shoot through my torso with a large bore autocannon. That must be one of those new variants whipped up by Hellspot Industries. Focus on taking them down quickly. Those are carrying more than just pop cap lasers and can be quite lethal up close. Approach them with caution. Oh yeah, a little backstabbing. Enemy Do that. Is about to blow. Nice kill, Commander. <laughs> Crap. Yeah, now I'm gonna get. Target destroyed. Hmm. 
Target acquired. The intruders might have gotten the jump on us, but we are not out of this fight. Keep on them, Lancers. Wow. <laughs> All right. So. Damn, I don't know if I can finish this without uh, losing half of this mech. I'm going to stay well behind the Atlas for the rest of this uh, drop. <laughs> Damn, he must have heard me. Here he comes. All right. Yeah. Show map. Show map. Close map. Close map. We got one or two more. I think we just got one or two more encounters and we'll be done with this. Oh. Lance on my tango. All guns on shared target. Target destroyed. Target Lance, I'm a tango. We'll get him. Nice kill, Commander. That mech went crit, too. Yeah. Maintained a little range and. <laughs> Don't get beat up nearly so bad. All right. We're going to draw some more of those guys out this way. Oh, shit. Damn. Target acquired. <clears throat> Lance, I'm a tango. Engaging shared target ID. Yeah, I wish I could uh wish I could coax coax those blue forces to take and point again. Looks like they're not going to you though. Oh there they go. Alright. Yep, we'll let that hunchback draw them out this time. Lance, oh my tango. We're on it, Commander. 
See, I'm gonna hide in the bushes here. Still, I can, uh, come across some backstabbing opportunities. New target, Locust. Lance, on my tango. Target, we're on it, Commander. Target destroyed. Not good. I've lost a component. Damn it. Weapon systems down. Ejecting. Another mech kill for me. Target mm. acquired. Hostile mech down. Well, yeah, it's on my tango. Copy on shed target. Man. Yikes. Finish off whatever stragglers you can find, but let the rest of them go. The third is counting on us to be in position for our joint assault. We need to save our manpower for the fight ahead. Continue along to the marked nav points. We still need to reach and secure our forward operating base. Great work, Commander. We took a beating, but crippling Kurs intruders takes a key Liao assault battalion off the board. You've provided a great service to House Davian this day. This should make our engagements with the elite warrior house troops easier. Yikes. Well, yeah, that was not pretty, but... Uh... At least I didn't lose a torso. Yikes. Still no double heat sinks showing up in the uh, salvage lists. It's kind of sad. I think everybody did all right. Considering we could have done a lot worse. All right, so let's uh, see how bad everybody. Ah, oh, damn. Yep. <laughs> did lose a flamer and a machine gun, but I guess it's better than. At least it wasn't full of, uh, at least it wasn't full of double heat sinks. Well, yep, I think it could have been a lot worse. And, uh, hmm. yeah, it looks like by the clock on the wall, though, uh, it is coming up on uh, quitting time, so I think we're going to have to uh, stick a pin in this until Friday. And if all goes well, we should be back on Friday. Same Mech Warrior time, same Mech Warrior channel, and we will pick up right where we left off here. Damn. As I was saying, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll pick up right where we left off here on Friday. Same Mech Warrior time, same Mech Warrior channel. And until then, I want to thank everybody for showing up to support the stream, especially my uh, executive producers and channel members. And uh, 
And yeah, should be back Friday to continue right from here. But until then... now be released from manual control. Mr. Dextra thanks you for your cooperation. You will now be released from manual control. Mr. Dextra thanks you for your cooperation. You will now be released from manual control. Mr. Dextra thanks you for your cooperation.